My name is Will Collier, and I'm the owner of the Jazz Hop Record Shop. When you start a record business, um, you know, you have to have money. Uh, my store just opened. I wanted to create a dream type setting for albums, you know what I mean? Like when you walk in the door, you're gonna hear some great music, man. Got all the great titles of albums and artists. You know, I remember my grandfather would listen to jazz, my father would listen to blues, uh, my grandmother would listen to gospel, my mother would listen to Gladys Knight and the Pips and the Shirelles and Diana Ross. And so I have many fond memories from my childhood. You know, most people that weren't interested in vinyls and stuff like that or thought vinyls were not or even around anymore, they're starting to get open to the ideas of, of reintroducing their lifestyle to vinyls. Basically, with hard copies of music, you have the ability of collecting. So if you buy something today, or if you bought something back in when they stopped, before they stopped making albums, they're worth a lot more money now than they were then. So in other words, it's a collector's uh, aspect. Versus digital, you can't really you know, resell that later on or you can't keep that for, to pass down to your children. Uh, digital music to me is like popcorn in a microwave versus vinyl CDs more so uh, like a slow cooked meal. And seeing the people smile when they see a record that they never had, had, had a record collection, but there was records that they didn't have, and they stopped making records, and then they find it through me. I mean, there's a joy that they uh, display that fills your soul, you know, fully, you know, and also when I'm playing a record for someone, uh, to see them dance or see them just smile and eyes get wide, you know, where they, are just you know engulfed in this in the moment. I really enjoy that the most. I think that's very rewarding. And then, and then I left the I left the wild I left the wild factor. You know I didn't show her nothing. So she turned this corner right here and looked through the window. She's like, oh my god, that is beautiful. Well, I'm like, your son, what do you expect? Mm -hmm. I, I got into this business for one reason and one reason only. I love music. I love vinyl. Um, it's what I do. It's what I was put on this world to do. Now, my name is, is, is Jesse Galvan, and I own the Music Connection. And I have owned the Music Connection for 41 years. Well, in truth, th this is what the deal is with a, with a record. Back in the day, what we used to do was go to the record store on Tuesdays. Why Tuesdays? Well, that's new release day. That's when all the new records came back in the day. And I used to get on my bike, I used to pedal on down to the record store, get myself my, my record, get all excited, notice I said excited. I was excited to pick up the record, it was fun, I went back to the house, and then, this is what I did. You sat down, you opened that record, you put it on your turntable, you put the needle on the record, you enjoyed your music as you were looking at the front, Flipped it over, you're looking at the back. You read, you're reading everything on there, right? You're reading everything on the back. You finish reading, you take out the inner sleeve and you read the inner sleeve because that's the next thing that was in there. Oh, wait a minute, my record's over. I gotta flip it over. Then you flip over the record, put the needle on the record again, and then get back. Hey, if you already read everything on the record, what'd you do? You read it again because that's what you did. You just enjoyed looking at what you had. Then you finish, you enjoy the you enjoy the music, you took the record off, you put it back in its sleeve, you put the sleeve back in the uh, in, in the cover, and you put your record up. Okay? That's what you did. That was fun. That was good. Now, let me show you what modern people, kids especially, over the last few years have been doing. They're gonna do the same thing I just did, right? Well let me show you what they do. They want to listen to a particular song on, uh, 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 at that point in time. This is what they do. So basically what happened is that the younger people figured it out. 
Uh, maybe they figured it out by seeing what their parents did, but I just did what I just showed you. Or something to that nature where they wanted to have something physical. In this world, we're losing all physicality. We don't have newspapers anymore. We don't have magazines anymore, almost, right? And it's all being either digital, in the cloud, or elsewhere. Well, heck, what about touch, feel? Now, all those things are pretty important, right? They figured it out. They they saw what their parents were doing, what they what they described, and they're like, you know what? I think that'd be so cool to do that. So they did. They started buying records, and they started doing what their parents did. Kind of, sort of like full circle. That's exactly what happened. Full circle. And this is not a fad. I've been in the business 41 years. And this is not a fad. Uh, it, it'll top out at a certain point, of course. Everything does and slide a little bit, but it's not going to go away. That's the big deal. It's, and you know what? It never did go away. To all the people that said that vinyl was absolutely 100% dead, that's not true. 